Hello, this is Lord Og, and welcome to Cooking with Lord Og. Yes, in the last episode we did the meaty stew, and now in this episode we're going to do something that isn't quite as big in portion size, but is still very nice and filling. We're going to be doing the kebab. Yes, we've heard of kebabs, well this is a kebab. In portion size, it's smaller than a meaty stew, but guys, I have cut back on fat and... Uh, yeah, just little calories. I've kind of cut the calories down by a third. I know you guys like to be healthy while you're running around doing your survivalist things on Don't Starve. So this one's not too bad for you. Now I'm going to cover three versions of this. Now they're all similar in figures, in numbers that they help with. But I just want to show you the variations you can use. Now don't be afraid to explore yourselves and experiment and mix and match things. You know, because different things do work and different things give different results. But still, let's get to it anyway. So, we're going to be doing the kebab, and the first one I'm going to do for you is quite a straightforward one. I've took the sound off, because uh, the wasps are very... Bees, sorry. Are very off-putting. Right, we'll get a morsel. Go to our crock pot. Put two morsels in. And then, saplings that everybody carries around with them anyway. Because you need them for handles, for your tools and everything. Put two of those in. So we've got one in each there. So it's morsel, morsel, cooked morsel, cooked morsel, and then two sticks or two saplings. And let that cook away. Let's just go and pick up a few more uh, saplings. There we go. One, two, and one more. There we go. And this should come up soon. Hopefully. With a, with a kebab. So anyway, I was asked another question. Why do I have straw rolls on the floor here? Okay. And I know it looks weird having two straw rolls on the floor. <laughs> but I'll tell you why they're here. They're here for hounds. That's right, hounds. Because the thing is with hounds, you can hear them bark for about 20 seconds before they come. And the problem is if they come at night time, when you've only got your fire going and you've got like a circle of fire around here, that's not good when you've got eight hounds chasing you around a fire you're going to get killed and yeah i'll burst out at meat effigy but i'll only do that once and they will still be in camp so then they bite me again and i die and then that's it it's game over so what i do is i have two straw rolls well what a straw roll does when you use it if it's night time it takes it straight to daytime so if i hear the barking start up i run down here pick up a straw roll sleep straight away while the bark is happening and it takes me straight through tonight to, to, to daytime and I can go up and run up to my pig village and uh, kill all the hounds so there you go that's why I have that just like why I have pan flutes here because I can run up to the pan flute pick it up and when you play a pan flute all animals close by go to sleep bugs insects birds animals hounds pigs beefalo everything they go to sleep if you play a pan flute near them so if they come running into camp or there's too many of them and I can't and I don't and I'm kind of having trouble getting away or I'm miles away from any animals or anything that can help me and I play a pan flute put them to sleep for a while and let me get away so there that's why I have pan flutes and that's why I have straw rolls okay so there's a kebab there you go we have our first kebab so look at it doesn't it look succulent and nice we love that bit of, bit of everything on there right I will eat this kebab and then I will tell you the stats. Yum, yum, yum. Nice. Right, so our first kebab is a morsel, morsel, uh, sapling, sapling. And it gives, get ready for this, 32 hunger, which isn't very big to say that, you know, uh, say meat and all meat, meaty stew does 80. But, get this, it does 51 hit points. 51 hit points. Hit points are these here. These are quite important, really, your hit points, because they don't regen over time. And I know they don't go down unless you, you get hit. But the point is that most foods will fill up this. I mean, they'll just a normal cooked meat will give you like 34 hit points. But not everything gives you good. Uh, sorry, 34 hunger points. But not everything gives you good hit points. Well, this gives you 51 hit points which is quite nice so there you go that's your first kebab kebab that's morsel morsel sapling sapling 32 
hunger and 51 hit points. Right, I'm going to show you another Kabob. I'll be right back. Okay, so the next um, Kabob I'm going to show you. Oh yeah, I did say I'd show you where the uh, ingredients were. You know where to find them all, so I explained it to a meaty stew. That's why I didn't go into it heavily here. But you can get them off of birds by catching them in bird traps. You can get them off of rabbits. Rabbits are probably easiest. Because all you have to do is let a rabbit come out, get between the rabbit and the hole. You know, run up. Let me just get my thing on. Run up between the two and just kill it. And then you get a morsel. And that's the best way to do that. Although, oh yeah, there's a rabbit. Look, so you, we know he came from that hole. So just make a run round, get between him and the hole. Click on him. And when he runs up, whack. There. Get a couple of them, a couple of sticks. There's your first kebab. Okay, so the next one we're going to do is, aha, yeah, I think this one will interest you. Because pe what people t tend to tell others is that you cannot eat um, monster meat because it's bad for you. Now you're right, monster meat is bad for you. Except in a kebab. Because I'm going to show you, come on, I need to get, I need to get some uh, monster meat. So I'm going to come here. Da, 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 da. Where are we? I know I've got some spider nests down here somewhere. I just can't remember where they are. It shouldn't be far away now. Here we are. That one's still growing. So let's hit this one. Whee! So what I want is some, is some spider meat. I usually get hit by spiders. There we go. Lots to me to me. There you go. <laughs> Told you I usually get hit by spiders. I'm not as good as I could be. But I only need three. So that's... Uh, I'm going to get two this time round. So let me just pick that up. Alright, let's go and hit this one again. Okay, I need one more. There we go. Thank you. Monster meat. I don't want to get hit. <laughs> I have my frog or bum witch if need be. There we go. Okay, so I've got one need. I don't need to kill this uh this all the way off. Okay. So we go to back to our uh crock pot. So this one is going to be so this time, remember this, next time somebody says to you that monster meat will kill you or you can't eat it or it's bad for you, tell them in a crock pot you can put in three monster meats, uncooked, don't do the cooked, uncooked, and one sapling. Cook it up and that will also give you a kebab, okay? So three monster meat, uncooked monster meat, and a stick will give you a kebab. Now the monster meat, monster meat, monster meat, sapling, Kebab will give you, now this one's pretty balanced, this is quite nice, are you ready? 40 hunger, that's not bad, it's better than the um, morsel, morsel, stick, stick, but it'll give you 40 hunger and it'll give you 44 hit points. So you know, that's quite a nice balanced one, you know, because they both give you around about the same, so that's nice and balanced this one. So that's monster meat, monster meat, monster meat. Don't forget the word to be uncooked. And then a, st a sapling. And then a... Uh, and that will give you a kebab. And that will f do you 40 hunger and 44 hit points. Okay, and I'm back again. So that one didn't cook in time. It was going to go over to the next day. And so, uh, yeah, I've left it. But it will work. If you would try it on your world... Monster meat, uncooked monster meat, uncooked monster meat, uncooked monster meat, and a sapling. Try it yourself. It's about 40 hunger and 44 HP. Right, this one, uh, if you live near a swamp, let's say you've got a swamp close by. If you look on your map and you've opened your swamp up, you'll see these. Let me zoom in. You'll see these puddles here. Now, go to these puddles and usually you will find that round the puddles, this one just up here, jumping about, you will find a frog. They usually hang around around these puzzles. So run up, kill the frog. Oops, there we go. And he'll drop frog's legs. Okay? Now, frog's legs are an amazing thing for making recipes. You're going to see more recipes with frog's legs that I'm going to use 
in future. But right now we're going to use one and it's three frog's legs. So just go to three and that I have an ingredients chest here. So see I've got, I've got plenty of frog's legs. I've been around collecting them. So oops, I'll just spin for you. <laughs> okay, so we put three frog's legs in. And da 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 da. And we're gonna go with another sapling again. And we're gonna cook that up. Cook, cook, cook. There we go. And that will do a kebab for you again. Now that one I should have time to get. So uh, let me get a few more saplings. Let me go and collect my honey. Try not to get stung. Oh no, none came out of that one, that's good. Sometimes they come flying out after you and kill you. Well, they don't kill you, they just sting you. But it hurts. You feel like you've been killed. No, good. Okay, so I ended up with 18 honey. So that's always good. Honey is not a, honey is actually a rest, is an ingredient in one of big recipes we use. As you can see, they've got lots of honey. That's the good thing of having uh, four bee boxes close by. You get lots and lots of honey. In fact, I didn't collect that one. Not the matter. In fact, I will. I think I'll get about six. Yeah, I've got. So, I've nearly got two stacks of that. It's that one. My ingredient. Oh, oh no, I've gone over. Oh, right then. I don't want to take up three slots, so we'll put that over here. It'll be alright. Okay, so the kebab should be done any second. As you can see, I actually don't use many sap, many flint. I mean, I've got 40 here, and then I've got another 28 on the floor there. And that's because I'm using the gold stuff, which I suppose I shouldn't do really, because gold is actually harder to get than flint. Because, uh, you know, people will tell you it's not, because you can uh, dig things up in a graveyard and take them to the pig king, and he'll give you gold. But trust me, flint's a lot easier to get. When you break open a rock, you usually get two flint out of it most times if not one but usually you'll usually get flint every time you don't always get gold and if you if you haven't got many graveyards or big graveyards on your world then you're not gonna have much gold so yeah i suppose i should use flint a bit more anyway we've got us kebab so this one does wait do we there let me let me let me go and get a bit of a, a tap see if i can get there in time because there's usually a monster around here that actually usually is happy to hit me. No? Here he is, there's one there. So let him hit me. Boom, boom. That takes me to about 33, it usually does. Yeah, it does. So, if we hit this kebab here, do you remember this is a frog's legs, frog's legs, frog's leg, and a sapling. And we go up to 84. So from 33 to 84, which is 51, which is what I have here. I have Hunger 34, which is, this one is slightly better than the Morsel Morsel Sapling Sapling. Because the Morsel Morsel Sapling Sapling gives you 32 and 51. This one will give you 34 and 51. So you get 34 Hunger, 51 on the HP. Okay? So there you go, guys. That's my recipe for today. Kebab done three ways. All healthy, all good for you. Less calories than a meaty stew, but does a good job of keeping you full up and replacing those hit points. So I hope this has helped you. And uh, I'm going to go and cook something else up and do some eating. So for now, you take really good care of yourselves. And goodbye for now, my friends.